One of the things you gotta understand, my friend, is that you're supposed to fail. You're supposed to fuck fail because failure is the stepping stone to success. It's not just cliche. Failure is an experience that lends to wisdom that ultimately makes you a stronger version of yourself. Like until I make my dreams become a reality, I'm not quitting. I don't care how much money I have to invest. I'm gonna continue to do this until I become successful. All right, I've got a rule called uh, the show up rule, right? Somebody said you can pretend that you care, but you can't pretend that you're there. The only way you can be there is to show up. And what I'm asking you to do for me, you'll never be a failure if you show up every single day Every single day when I come, I show up and I let failure know failure is not an option. So what it takes 12 years to get it for failure is not an option. So what I, 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 I put myself in a Ph.D. program when I know that to be a great person in a Ph.D. program, you have to read well, you have to write well, which are my two greatest weaknesses. But failure is not an option. Failure is not an option. You can't even let it sink into your brain. Into not even a second. You have to know that this thing is going to work. Come hell or high water, whatever it is that I set out to do, it may not happen in six months. It may not happen in a year. It may not happen in two years. But at some point, my dream is going to become a reality. You know, I get asked a lot, you know, what is the secret of achieving goals? You know, how do you really quantitate it? How do you put it down so every day you know if you're going in that direction of success or maybe you're altered? You know, and people are like, man, is it your genetics? Is it your potential? Is it, you know, when it comes down to it, success has nothing to do with potential. It's all about the perseverance of somebody. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 things that do not work. Right? And who wrote that? Yeah. Thomas said, come on, come on. These are the things that, that helped me change my, 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 my thought patterns. They helped me to change my mindset. Listen to me. It's 10,000 things that didn't work. And all I have to do is the next one. And once I do the next one, bam, I'm going to be successful. I'm telling you, every time I stand up here and do what I'm doing, all I can remember was sleeping in abandoned buildings. That's all I could think about. But I kept trying, and I kept trying, and I kept trying, and I tell people I am not the rabbit, I'm the turtle, but I kept going, I was consistent, and I'm standing here today. But what I found out in life, as life goes on, life is about losing. As we get older, we lose our hair, we lose our teeth, we lose our mothers our fathers, our sisters, and, um, but it's the ones who overcome, they're lost in life and um, could shun away adversity and always willing to fight it. Every particular moment in life are the ones that are able to transcend and be able to spread the world to other people who's in that same particular gender as they are. That's what life is about, stretching and challenging, looking for ways that you can begin to improve yourself. You could turn anything in life into something if you just keep showing up. If you throw shit against the wall, eventually something will stick. You guys that are, have this potential, don't have this potential, you know, that shit dies. What continues to last forever is a perseverance to always show up. That's what champions do. Every single champion is the same as every ordinary person. The only differential is that they show up to the event every single day. They see failure as a learning curve. They welcome failure. You learn more from failure than you ever will from success. So showing up and getting knocked on your ass, finally test them for you, stand back up and re-face that endeavor is gonna be the overriding factor that makes a difference. Everything you do, you do it to the best of your ability. It doesn't matter what you're doing, it's the fact that you're doing it, so therefore it means something to you. It doesn't matter what you're born with, it doesn't matter your potential, how much you know, the silver spoon or money you have, all of that can be attained if you show up and you're willing to, to risk failure for success.